Hey there, savvy webpreneurs. Are you thinking of giving your website a fresh new look but worried about losing your hard-earned SEO rankings? Well, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm diving in to an essential website redesign SEO checklist that will ensure your revamp doesn't sabotage your SEO. But before we get into the content, if any of this video is helpful, please give me a like on the video, share it with someone that could benefit from it, and if you need help with your digital marketing and want to grow leads and sales for your business, reach out to me now at toby at 39celsius.com. Okay, back to the content. First on our list is fixing those pesky 404 error pages. These can harm your user experience and SEO if not addressed over time. So what is a 404 error? It's the digital equivalent of that missing book. The URL they click promised a web page, but instead they're greeted with a page not found message. It's a dead end in their journey, causing them to backtrack or worse, leave your website altogether. Here's how to find and fix them. Go to Google Search Console if you haven't already set up an account for your website. Then, once set up, click on Pages in the left menu and there, if you have 404 error pages, they will show up here along with any other issues that Google has found on your website. Add a redirect to a different page or recreate the page again with the same URL. Next up, we unravel the mystery of the XML sitemap. This is a potent tool in your SEO arsenal, helping search engines understand your site structure and index your pages efficiently. Here's an example of an XML sitemap. Now, if you use WordPress, the Yoast plugin will automatically build an XML sitemap for you. Then you can just submit that to Google within Google Search Console. Before going live with your redesign, it's crucial to develop the new site as a test site. This allows you to catch any issues that could impact your SEO or, or user experience while the site is under development. Plus, a test site shields your users from any potential redesign hiccups because, let's face it, nothing shatters a user experience quite like a site under construction. Getting URL structure right is key for your new site. It needs to be logical, simple, and keyword rich. Here's an example. Let's use a personal injury attorney example. Let's say you have an office in Houston and an office in Dallas and that you provide car accident services, among others, in each market. One ideal way to represent that URL structure is like this. Each of those pages would discuss Houston or Dallas car accidents. Now, if someone backs up the URL, for example, just to the Houston personal injury page, they will land on the Houston personal injury page and similar to the Dallas URL. Organizing your site this way supports good site organization, which is good for users and good for Google. But a word of caution, do not change the URL structure of any existing pages during a website redesign unless there's a very good reason to do so. Doing this can wipe out any current SEO you have for that page. Use this new URL structure for new content. See my blog post for more detailed information. Utilizing the right SEO tools can make your web design process smoother and more effective. Let's explore some of the best ones to use. First, Google Search Console, which is free. Think of this as your compass, pointing you in the right direction. It helps you understand how Google search bots view your site, highlighting any issues that might be hindering your visibility to them. Next, Screaming Frog Spider. This tool is akin to a trusty flashlight, revealing hidden obstacles. It crawls your website, uncovering broken links, duplicate content, and other pitfalls that can trip up your redesign. Then there's SEMrush. Consider this your Swiss Army knife of SEO. From tracking keyword rankings to conducting competitive analysis, SEMrush equips you with invaluable insights to strategize your redesign effectively. Finally, Ahrefs. Think of Ahrefs as your trail mix, keeping you nourished and energized. It provides you with detailed backlink profiles and keyword data, fueling your SEO strategy. Lastly, ensure your site is crawled and indexed properly by search engines. This ensures your content gets found and ranked. First, as we discussed earlier, create a robust XML sitemap. This is a roadmap for search engine spiders. Keep it current and comprehensive to guide them through your entire site. 
Next, use robot text wisely. This file tells search engines which part of your site to crawl and which to ignore, and it includes a link to your XML sitemap too. Be careful not to accidentally block important pages here. Then, build quality. Internal links. These act as signposts, guide, guiding search engines from one page to the next. A well-linked site is easier to crawl. Read my related blog post on using internal linking for a deeper understanding of the subject. That post is in the show notes. Next, ensure fast load times. Search engines have a limited time for each site. If your page loads slowly, they may leave before crawling the entire site. Cheap hosting is often a primary culprit here. Hosting companies like HostGator, Bluehost, and GoDaddy are typically low-end hosting services. Finally, check for crawl errors. Use tools like Google Search Console. Identify and fix any issues that might hinder crawling. Next is the UX of your site. Let's say you walk into a restaurant enticed by its reputation, but instead of a warm welcome, you're met with chaos. The menu's confusing, the service is slow, and finding the restrooms feels like a treasure hunt. Would you stay or would you leave? Here are some tips for website design. First, simplicity is key. A clutter-free, clean design makes navigation effortless, encouraging users to stay and explore your site. Next, easy navigation. The internet is a direct response medium. People searching are goal-oriented. Help them achieve their goals by making it easier for them to navigate and find what they want. Then, speed it up. No one likes waiting. Optimize your site speed to keep both users and search engines happy. And finally, mobile friendly. With more people browsing on smaller screens, a mobile responsive design isn't optional, it's essential. And finally, blog posts not only help provide valuable information, they also present opportunities to use keywords, internal links, and engaging content. All SEO gold. So there you go. That wraps up our website redesign SEO checklist. We explored everything from 404 error pages to XML sitemaps, test sites, URL structure to blog posts, all with a single goal, boosting your SEO traffic during a website redesign. I hope this helps you navigate your project while maintaining or even improving your SEO rankings. But if you have more questions, leave a comment on the video or the blog post. And if you need help with your company's digital marketing and want to grow leads and sales, reach out to me right now at toby at 39celsius.com. And until next time, I will see you on the web.